to another video. Here we have the front axle off the Land Rover. So if you have missed it, go back to the previous video and you'll get brought up to speed to where we are. There's an updated video explaining that I lost all my footage. I lost all the footage of the, removing the axle and fitting the rear. So if you want to go back to that, bring it up to speed. Now I've already needle gunned it down and it's come up really, really good actually. It's a lot better condition than the rear. But on first glances, this was a lot, a lot worse than the rear axle as well. Now, when I first bought the Land Rover, it had, well, I took it back actually, it was still in the warranty. They fitted new kingpins, new swivel joints, new gaskets, seals, everything as regards the steering. So the only thing they didn't do is take the diff out in all honesty. When I did this and pads, I didn't have time to change the hub seals and service the bearings. So that's getting done as well. So I've just got to attack the axle with the flat blade now. I've already done the radius arm and hard rod. They're, you know, they're just ready for painting now. The diff guard and the axle is all to do with my lost all the footage. As you can probably see, I've taped up the chrome balls and the stub axles just to stop grit, muck and paint going on them. I'll give them a good clean after anyway. So I'll get some paper on now. Let that dry overnight and then the next morning I'll come back and put some black paint over the top. You can see I've pressed the bushes out of the radius arms and give them a really good, uh, good clean inside. Uh, I've also pressed the bushes out of the panard rod. Uh, I've attacked them both with a needle gun, get all the rust off them, and now I'm going to rub them down properly with the flat blade. I'm also going to do the front diff guard and the brackets. I'm going to repaint everything. So I'll just give you a close up of the axle now. Obviously, the footage has gone where I started wire brushing it down. So it has actually cleaned up pretty well. I mean, especially in the middle bit, because it was preserved by uh, oil leaks. Only a little bit, though. So, it's a bit more rubbing down to do. And then, obviously, I'll attack it with a flat blade as well. Okay, so yesterday was a bit of a shambles. I thinned the paint out too much, but I was also running too much pressure through the airline, and in all honesty, the paint was just falling off. It was making a right mess. Uh, so I've come in today and had a quick look, and I think I've got away with it. The paint is still tacky-ish, uh, but most of the runs, it run that bad that it just all run off. So it's kind of done me a favour in that respect. So, <laughs> it's my own fault, I wasn't really taking precautions, I was uh, rushing as well in all fairness. No idea why, but uh, yeah, lesson learned from that one. <laughs> so I'm going to make another, a thicker mixture now, uh, I'm going to be careful this time, and also I'm going to do it slowly. And uh, 
probably let that go off and then just put one final layer of undercoat over the over the lot of it. I've been out and got some chassis paint as well. So uh, I'd run out when I did the chassis so I can touch the little bits up on the chassis that I've missed uh, through the spring turrets and so on. And then I can spray these while they're still on the stands and then I can get it refitted. I don't know if the camera can pick it out, but this paint is going on so much better. So, just shows what happened. So I've thickened up the paint, altered a couple of settings on the gun and lowered the air pressure. Right, it's going on a lot better. So there's no run, there's nice, it's quite a thick mixture this one. And uh, making a lot better job, the axle looks so much better now. Time, I'm going to strip the wheel bearings out of the hubs, clean them up, re-grease them, and refit them with new seals. So then, once I've painted it all, they can just go straight back on. So I'm going to get some chassis paint on this and the rest of it is getting painted bright yellow. So yeah, it's very bright, but it should look really good. <laughs> earlier on these are getting sprayed bright yellow and I mean bright yellow why because I think it's gonna look brilliant now I can hear I can already hear you shouting at the screen going no no don't spray it yellow it's getting done because I've already done the back as you already know that is exactly the same and I think it looks fantastic
finally, everything is now complete and ready to fit back on the Land Rover. Once it's fitted, I've just got to torque those wheel bearings up, as I have with the back axle, so I can't wait to now get this fitted. The next one is just to fit those windless mud shields while the axle's off. There's loads of space, it's just so much easier to do. So that will be coming up next, and then I can get on then with refitting all the suspension. So please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.